Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In front of me is the new Porsche Macan um, and the Porsche Croatia has called me to review this beautiful cross SUV. So let's unlock it. Now we have on the front beautiful LED lights. I'm gonna just walk around a little bit. I'm gonna sit inside without too much talking and head off. Now on the bottom you have LED lights that turn into blinkers. If I press the unlock you can see that beautiful led lights on the front this is the second generation of makan first one was released in 2014 five years later today in 2019 we have the second generation and it absolutely looks beautiful the back lights are now connected led like on the um porsche panamera let's just pop the trunk real quick um, so you can just see this is 500 liters of space it, when you fold down the seats you get even twice as more really nice you have two LED lights on the top um, a lot of storage area and just from the side here the car looks beautiful when you stomp on the brakes you have LED lights on the back uh, again a little different so these are just position and one more time you see the blinkers LED and you have quad exhaust with the diffuser it looks really nice now let's jump inside this car has the panel roof this is the entry model uh, with the four cylinder, four cylinder 2.0 turbocharged petrol engine with 245 horsepower so this is the base model of course you can get the Mac and S with uh, three and four hundred horsepower so what you know that's more sporty-ish but this is the entry model as you can see on the bottom lights you have 14 bossy bossy speaker speakers in this model this is how it looks it has little ambient lights here on the back panel roof is actually uh, without the shade open for more light i'm gonna close this fasten my seat belt and we're gonna head out immediately without too much talking um so because I realized the last video was, I was talking maybe too much. So on the Porsche, uh, switch is on your left side, not on your right side. This is just ignition. Looks really nice and beautiful. I'm just gonna check my camera if everything's fine. Uh, looks good. And let's just do a little speakers test. Let's see here in media gonna here go to list and let me just find another radio station actually I'm gonna do to favorites the speakers are pretty great uh, the ba bass is good excellent speakers infotainment I wouldn't expect less from Porsche but we're gonna put it on navigation here just it's kind of in the corner so I don't push it right I'm gonna mute the sound not to get copyright strike this car has the GT sport line I'm uh, just excuse me just GT um, sport steering wheel with a little uh, sports command so you can see here I can switch to sport plus sport normal or individual for now we're gonna stay normal and you have the chrono package so just so I can show you this and I promise we'll move on you have chrono package you can turn on the stopwatch you can see all wheel drive uh, how it moves uh, tire pressure um, consumption i was kind of pushing this car i think it'd be realistically around 12 liters in this case it's a little more and you can have a navigation here as well um, your phone radio uh, temperatures and stuff. I'm gonna leave it on temperature. Okay, I did fasten my seat belt so I can know when I can, you know, abuse the car a little bit. I'm just kidding. Uh, Porsche ha doesn't have a braking period, so you can straightforward drive it. Although this car already has 8,000 kilometers on it. So let's turn on the engine. Now the LED lights. These are the Porsche LED lights, um, and they're pretty awesome. You're gonna see them now in action. Okay, I'm in drive, and we're heading off. I think I left this on. That's supposed to be off. Now this model, uh, in this model Porsche 
uh, has in the second generation of Macan uh, included new safety features. So you have your blind spot warnings, you have lane assist, you have uh, adaptive radar, although this model doesn't have it for some uh, reason, someone didn't expect that option. As you can see, uh, this road markings are freshly painted. As you can see how nice uh, the lights are, they're really bright. Uh, does, they are just white illumination, they don't have that uh, bluish illumination, So, but this is good. One thing I did notice, um, that I want to say about the infotainment. Now, the infotainment is also new, it uses 11 inch screen, HD resolution, it's super great. Although, I wish there was a, like a, let's say, um, night mode. Uh, in this case, it's using Google Maps and looks like a, you know, daytime mode. So, but that's just one thing. Okay, so, we're driving here, going outside the neighborhood, and let's just talk about the interior a little bit. Now, there aren't too many changes on this car. Um, for the most part, the uh, changes are small. Uh, the seats are new, and they're more comfortable. We have a green light here, so let's just focus on the driving for a moment. Just be, I'll be quiet for a moment so you can hear the engine. I mean, normal. Drives easily. Now if I push it to sport, response immediately changes. And the Sport Plus is the most fun. Security and you can see the pulls pretty good, and of course, there's the individual. Also, the car is really responsive 245 horsepower is good. So, this is the Porsche's entry model. Um, it's you know, let's say as a premium car, affordable, and you know, for those folks that um, just want to drive a premium badge want to stand out and want to drive regularly and sometimes you know if they're on a highway they're gonna push it a little bit but they're not going to um, you know in general uh, drive too fast so if you want more you can get the uh, Mac and S you can get the 3 and 400 horsepower version um, and enjoy that speed. So this is the entry model Now exterior there are new LED lights as I mentioned the back lights are also connected small uh, changes this is very much conservative Porsche uh, kind of nailed it with the first model and they just did small changes that look good. They are refreshed and they didn't want to change too many things. Now on the back seat, I'm a tall person, I wish there was more space, but this is kind of crossover uh, SUV that the roof goes a little bit down, so, and there's the panoramic roof, so you have a little less space, but for the average person, it should be fine. Now we're going to move to a highway, actually open uh, part of the uh, highway or motorway, whatever you call it in your country. And the interior, and now all the new models have touch uh, in this middle ridge they have touch buttons uh, now Macan still has too many buttons uh, it's kind of a mess uh, this part is for AC this is for uh, which way you want the air to blow and some other stuff um, I think that could have been maybe changed but maybe you know some people uh, like that I don't know on the top there's also some buttons um, and also another thing that I wanted to mention is kind of forgot now slipped my mind um, anyway um, the rest of the interior is pretty fine it's definitely uh, feels premium everything is uh, refined plastic parts are not soft and they're just hard robust plastic that's covered with 
fine soft leather and the whole car feels good everything's robust nothing is shaking as matt watson would do in his videos so everything is fine everything is stiff and so there should not be any worries that anything is going to start rattling in the future um start stop kicked in works uh, pretty good and now um let's talk about driving so i've been driving today uh this car and uh, the suspension is pretty soft uh, of course and when you're normal it's the most comfortable and if you you know go fairly slow over the bumps it's okay if you go faster you're gonna feel them of course uh, the steering is really precise you can feel every uh, change of the steering wheel it, the car moves and uh, the throttle response is great this is a 2.0 turbocharged petrol engine 245 horsepower it is really torquish now someone would think for the Porsche uh, you should have a stronger engine but I think this is for an entry model pretty good definitely in the sport mode the car kicks in I'm gonna take you to the highway soon so you're gonna see that and it's really responsive definitely has a little kick and um, it keeps pulling you know uh, there you go, the car in front of us moved, so the camera picked it up. I think the camera could be a little bit more sharpener, considering this is a Porsche, but I guess it's okay, you know. Of course, uh, the 7-speed automatic or PDK Porsche's dual clutch, it's actually super fast. The only thing that I can criticize is it's fast on the upshifts on the downshifts it's kind of um it's also fast but um when you change from you know normal to uh, let's say sport or actually no excuse me from sport to normal the computer stays in sport and then at some point especially when it's going uphill it doesn't switch back uh to a lower gear it just gets confused uh but this dual clutch automatic is pretty good and you can see the top uh, excuse me the, the front lights are super bright uh, they I believe they do adapt so it's you can see they're just below that car so it doesn't blind him the driver in front of me now the interior what I wanted to mention also this car I don't think doesn't have any ambient lights which is a shame this is probably an option there's a lot of options in Porsche um, but Anyway, I'm kind of losing myself what I wanted to say, so I'm going to shut up just for a moment and just drive. Of course, there's a uh, daytime, po uh, daytime point of view video that I'm going to release. So in that video, I'm not talking, I'm just driving so you can hear the engine. I am on winter tires so uh, you should calculate that in your noise now yeah the noise inside is really not that bad uh, the soundproof is uh, quite good in my opinion and there is most of the noise coming from the tires that are winter they're more noisy um, and there might be some uh, you know um, side mirrors this is a big car so you know but uh, overall good now on higher speeds um, there's gonna be a lot of wind noise but on the speed limits up to 130 the noise is okay of course petrol engine is uh, quiet uh, except when you push it you know and then you can hear it to the highway you can see the LED lights they're kind of bright you can see the road really good so the 
this is 130 noise and I'm gonna change to sport sport plus You can see that the noise increases a lot. I'm gonna lower my speed now. Let's say you wanna speed up really fast. Metal to the pedal. Pulls. Now 150 is tolerated by police so I'm gonna keep it to that speed but I'm gonna lower it to 130 an individual all the way to the floor back to normal now if you really want a fast shift uh, on this little dial where you can choose sport and similar you have a button so if you press here you can have sport response so i believe that clutch switches to sport now you need the chrono package for this see now when i want to lower the gas it's still on high revs although it's a normal good thing about this infotainium the speakers are also awesome as I showed you they're excellent uh, the infotainium is good all of this is maybe a little bit bright you have still this um, you know shortcuts here if you want to see information about the car and let me just switch uh, the little screen in the middle to show you the consumption so it's kind of lowering but I did push the car so it's around 13 liters. I think you can get it around 12. But what I wanted to say, the good things are the apps. And now you have the apps. Uh, you have weather inside of your car. This is excellent. So this is, uh, you know, Porsche. Connect and come back from the weather this is my exit so you have here news you can a uh, car can announce you news from all over the world like if you want to see cnn and it's going to pop up in real time uh, if you're driving if you want to see that you can find parking spaces you can far, find restaurants gas stations hotels airports everything it's really informative it's connected to the google and it's really excellent infotainment. You're online all the time because Porsche uh, is paying you the data unlimited. So you have fast internet speed, uh, LTE. Okay, we're on the road that's kind of remote and there's no one in front of me or behind me. And actually there's an incoming car. So I want to do a launch at night, but I want it to be safe so there's no traffic in front of me or behind me. Let's leave it on. Yeah, let's leave it on this. I think we have a straight line here, straight road. So uh, I'm going to test a launch here, guys, for you in night. Now, I'm not sure if there is a launch mode, to be honest. Sometimes you have to press both uh, bells, but not in this case. Okay, so we're gonna put it to sport. I'm on the brake with one foot, gas all the way. I'm gonna release it. Wow, pull. Pull. And there it goes. That was impressive. I'm gonna slow down. We're gonna go this way because this is the off-road when there's no uh, lights from the no street lights so you can see how the lights 
good now in person they're more brighter the gopro camera is just not good enough like all the other cameras to pick up this now this is a long beam this is really bright i don't know if you can see i can see all the way to the end of the road now there should be integrated fog lights i'm not sure if they're on This is just with the position lights. It looks like some scary movie, to be honest. But always leave your lights on auto switch. Now, now you have the side fog light when you're turning. That's nice. I did not notice that in uh, the city. I'm going to turn around here. There's some storage there and construction area so the camera is good when you're backing you can see actually stuff behind you you can see the camera it's quite camera is actually not that bad at night so guys there is in front of me hospital if i put long beam you can actually see that hospital and the lights this is a hospital i was never finished unfortunately back to drive No, Mackin's pretty good at off-road as well, but you're definitely not going to uh, go often driving off-road, especially not with 19-inch wheels. Now, as you can see, guys, check this steering. It's pretty precise. And I must say, I went to the corners a little faster and I did not feel any body roll. So, you know, heads up to Porsche, uh, really good. Uh, that's really made good. I'm trying to figure if I missed anything. You can, of course, uh, adjust the sound here, but everything's already adjusted. Um, overall, this car is so amazing. This is like the default screen. It's like a little metro windows thingy with those squares. Uh, I prefer to leave it on navigation or something. Um, but yeah, the Macan is just a, a nice car. Now, for those of you for, from Croatia, uh, we do have a little um, higher taxes, like 25% taxes um, in general on sales. Uh, and uh, Porsche is kind of expensive. Now, I forgot the euros um, price tag, but for all of you Croatians, uh, there is a actual uh, deal at the moment. Like it's, it's more like a financing. You can get this car if you, you can put a down payment uh, 30% and you can have it for five years, 10,000 kilometers per year limited. Um, you can have it at three and a half thousand kunas and a little bit change. I'm going to put that in the link, of course, with all the description of this video. So, of course, after five years, there's a uh, leftover value if you want to keep the car or just uh, return it. Now this is the only side where the road is going sideways, it's close to me, so... Of course there's traffic when I need to film. The car really handles good. And of course guys not to forget the brakes now the brakes are one thing that i would criticize on this kind of car i think that the brakes should be a little more harsher like braking now they just they don't start gripping immediately you know it takes it a you know a little but then if you push them they start gripping so i assume that on the magnet s you get stronger uh brakes but on this i think um they should be stronger so uh that's a little critic right there overall i'm really pleased with the porsche it's a nice drive it's a comfortable drive this is a daily driver and for that this um engine has enough power i don't know if you can hear that but i just found the lumble support because there's so many options on these seats and now it's so comfortable. Oh yeah. 
now another thing that I need to mention is you can see like I didn't even go all the way uh, the Macan has excellent churning uh, angle so it's great for maneuvering on parking and if you really just need to make a u-turn it's excellent now this car is just for enjoying you know listening to music and that's all about uh, Mac and uh, the entry version is it's just about enjoyment uh, if you need to speed up a little bit you can do it it's luxury it's comfortable and that's where you're gonna get a Mac and for I have problems with my camera I just uh, fix and what I'm saying a that's something that's a command actually for There was actually some space. Here we got a space here. Oh, the engine start stop came on. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. Am I might reverse? Yep. So I'm used to using mirrors, to be honest here. And there is this camera assist. Thing. It's just kind of weird sometimes, you know, the mirrors, the objects appear bigger than they are. Yeah, I see you. It's not that close. I can see here the column next to me. But I do have space. See the car between the lines. Kind of relying on that. And, and perfect. So there you go, guys. Uh, this was the Porsche Macan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, like this video. Leave a comment below. It really helps me a lot. Share this with your friend or someone that's interesting in buying a Porsche. Um, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't for more reviews. And I wanna thank Porsche Croatia for calling me to test this new Porsche Macan. It's an excellent car. I was really pleased with it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe on the road. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.